The animation begins in the city of Transylvania in Romania. So, there was a group of vampires were flying to a cemetery to celebrate some birthdays. Among them was Rudolph, a young vampire boy who was the son of their leader. In just two days, it would be his turn to celebrate his special day. His younger sister, Anna, came over and gave him a new outfit for his birthday, but Rudolph didn't like it. He felt that they had been doing the same thing for hundreds of years on his birthday, and he was tired of it. When Rudolph expressed his boredom to his father, he was told to stop acting like a child. But Rudolph disagreed, saying that he had been stuck at the same age for 300 years and he was fed up with it. Meanwhile, his grandparents were getting ready to attend his birthday party, and in another place, a human boy named Tony was on vacation with his parents. He was fascinated by horror and vampire stories, and he couldn't wait to learn more about them. However, his parents asked Tony to stop talking about scary stories and focus on their journey. But a little later, Tony spotted Rudolph's grandparents flying nearby. He excitedly told his father, but by the time he looked, they were gone, and his father warned him to stop making things up. However, their conversation caused Tony's father to lose control of the car, and they veered off the road and into the forest. On the other hand, we meet Rookery, a man who hunts vampires, and his assistant Manny in town. On the other hand, Rudolph's brother Gregory was having an argument with their father. He wanted to take Rudolph for a walk outside, but their father refused, saying it was too dangerous. Ignoring his father's warning, Gregory left anyway, and Rudolph followed him. Meanwhile, Rookery and Manny detected a vampire's presence using their vampire radar. They discovered it was Gregory at a gas station, where he was eyeing up a man. Soon after, they arrived on the scene and used ultraviolet light to repel Gregory, causing him to catch fire and fall. Rudolph, who witnessed the scene from afar, rushed to rescue his older brother and quickly removed him from the area. However, Rookery and Maney followed them. Back in the forest, Tony and his parents encountered a pair of grandparents who happened to be the innkeepers of the castle they were heading to. They were taken to the castle inn, which was decorated with a lot of garlic hanging all around. At that time, Tony became suspicious, especially when he checked his reflection in the mirror. Elsewhere, Rudolph and Gregory arrived at their hiding place, followed closely by Rookery. Then, Rudolph informed his father, who quickly ordered everyone to leave. However, Rookery had already begun sealing off the only exit with steel nets, trapping the vampires inside. Only Rudolph, his younger brother, and parents were able to escape, while Gregory and the other vampires were trapped inside. Just after that, Rudolph and his family met his grandparents who had arrived at the same place. After sharing what had happened, the grandparents took them to their old hideout. But Rookery, their enemy, showed up again, chasing them with his car that had an ultraviolet light. During the chase, Rudolph's father got hurt and almost fell when he was hit by the beam. Fortunately, Rudolph acted fast and saved his dad. For a moment, Rudolph thought they were safe, but Rookery came back, this time with an airplane. Shortly after, Rudolph told his family to leave and he decided to keep Rookery away from them. Despite facing many difficulties and dangers, he succeeded in keeping his family safe. But when the sun began to rise, they had to find a new hiding place. While searching for a new spot, Tony woke up and saw Rudolph flying, which frightened him a lot, and he quickly hid. On the other hand, Rudolph saw that Tony's room was open, so he went inside quickly. Then, they finally met each other. There, Tony was scared when he saw a vampire and tried to defend himself by using a cross that was in his room, but Rudolph was not affected by it. Rudolph thought that Tony wanted to hurt him because humans have been hunting vampires for centuries. However, he told Rudolph that he was just a 13-year-old child and didn't want to hurt anyone. During their conversation, the owners of the place came to check on Tony and gave him a bunch of garlic to protect himself. However, he threw it away, which surprised Rudolph because Tony was the first human who tried to help him. As they got to know each other, Tony asked Rudolph if he would bite him. Then, Rudolph explained that he and his family no longer drink human blood because it was ordered by his father. This allowed them to stay in one place for a longer time without being discovered. Afterward, Tony offered Rudolph the wardrobe in his room to use as a sleeping chest, which made Rudolph trust him even more. The following morning, Tony's mother almost discovered Rudolph sleeping in the cupboard. Fortunately, Tony intervened and made up an excuse. While eating breakfast, he came up with an idea to help Rudolph leave the castle during the day. Then, he wrapped Rudolph's entire body in aluminum foil, and then took him to the cowshed near the castle. Ignore the smell, and the flies. I don't think I can do this. There, Rudolph drank the blood of one of the cows for breakfast. However, Rudolph suddenly panicked and acted strangely. He realized that his family was in hiding from vampire hunters, 
who were also human like Tony. Then, he tried to calm Rudolph down by saying that he was not like the vampire hunters, and promised to help Rudolph save his family. This left Rudolph speechless. Meanwhile, the cow that Rudolph had bitten had turned into a cow vampire. Then, he began teaching Tony how to fly, which amazed him during his first flight. A leaf on the breeze. Oh, 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 boring. However, Rookery discovered their existence through his vampire radar. Rookery quickly went towards the castle, and the castle owner saw Tony flying away with Rudolph. They both thought that Tony was a vampire. Soon after, Rookery made his way to the location and immediately searched Tony's room, but found nothing except for the odor of Rudolph emanating from the closet. Rookery then proceeded to investigate Tony's parents to confirm if they were indeed vampires like the castle's owner had claimed, but it turned out that they were just regular people. Meanwhile, Rudolph had arrived at the cemetery where his grandparents were hiding and introduced Tony to his family. Initially, Rudolph's father was opposed to Tony's presence, but Rudolph explained that Tony had saved his life. On the other hand, Anna, Rudolph's sister, took a liking to Tony and even gave him a lucky mouse charm, instructing him to whistle if he needed assistance. Suddenly, the ground began to tremble, signaling Rookery's arrival. He had followed a clue given to him by the previous owner of the castle and had begun drilling holes in the area. Rookery then inserted a lamp emitting ultraviolet light into one of the holes, causing Rudolph and his family intense pain. Then, Tony urged them to evacuate immediately and began to tinker with the lamp. As a result, Rookery and his assistant were electrocuted by their own device. However, he returned and took Tony away. I was waiting for you. Sorry about your lights. I'll take vampires. <laughs> Once upon a time, Rudolph, who had previously left the area, couldn't bear to abandon his friend Tony all alone. He decided to return with his children to pick up Tony. Unfortunately, Rookery had spread garlic all over Tony's body, which made it impossible for them to approach him. Rookery decided to take him to a nearby lake to kill him. However, Maney strongly disagreed with Rookery's decision, causing a heated argument to ensue between them. Suddenly, Tony proposed an idea to help Rookery catch Rudolph and his family by using himself as bait. He suggested that Rudolph would come to save him if he pretended to be in danger. However, Tony had to clean the garlic off his body so that his vampire friends could approach him. Hearing that, Rookery immediately agreed to Tony's plan without any hesitation. But he warned Tony not to run away, claiming that he could swim as fast as a dolphin. Then, he threw Tony into the lake. However, Tony quickly swam away from them, and Rookery couldn't catch him because he couldn't swim. Shortly after being thrown into the lake, Tony began to feel cold and started thinking of Anna, his friend. He whistled for help, and soon enough, Anna and Rudolph heard him and came to rescue him. There, Rookery became furious upon seeing this and returned to the castle to check if Tony was there, but he found no one in Tony's room. Suddenly, Tony's parents appeared and asked about the commotion. However, the owner of the place lied and said that Tony was a vampire, and the vampire hunters had come to catch him. Of course, Tony's mother didn't believe this. Moments later, Tony arrived at the castle, and they made plans to save the trapped vampires. However, he accidentally saw his parents and became worried about them. Anna then hypnotized Tony's parents so they wouldn't worry and introduced them to her father and mother, who were also under her spell. She convinced them that Tony's parents should take him back to Transylvania in their car to save other trapped vampires. She also persuaded her father to join them as the sun would rise soon. With no other choice, Anna's father agreed to go with them. Meanwhile, Tony and Rudolph embarked on a mission to rescue another trapped vampire led by Rookery. Along the way, they encountered a cow vampire who decided to join them. However, their journey was interrupted when the sun began to rise, and they had to take shelter in a cemetery. Then, Tony suggested that they split up, with him continuing on the path not far from the forest while Rudolph and the cow vampire hid. As Tony journeyed on, he coincidentally ran into Rookery, who was also headed to the same destination. Suddenly, he had an idea and secretly hitched a ride on Rookery's vehicle, ultimately arriving at the site. Fortunately, he managed to steal a key that could unlock the steel passage, which also imprisoned the trapped vampires. However, Rookery seemed to be planning something. Meanwhile, Tony's parents and Anna's family began to feel uneasy, unsure of what was happening. As night fell, Rudolph woke up and went after Tony to assist him. On the other hand, as Rookery realized the key was missing, he saw Tony trying to open the basement door. Unfortunately, Rookery caught him, leaving Tony in a vulnerable state. Fortunately, Rudolph and the cow vampire arrived and were able to rescue him before anything serious happened. 
Despite this, Tony's actions only made Rookery more furious. He decided to blow up the entire place using a bomb he had prepared to bury all the vampires in that location. Surprisingly, the explosion created a hole that provided a way out for the trapped vampires. Rudolph was finally reunited with his older brother, Gregory. There, Tony was also introduced to Gregory, but at first, he didn't believe that Tony was a friend who had saved Rudolph's life and wanted to harm him. However, Rudolph intervened and explained the truth to Gregory. Gregory Sackville Bag. Meanwhile, Rookery was persistent and continued to chase after Tony and Rudolph. However, Tony's parents arrived and were shocked to see what was happening, finally awakening from their previous state. With their assistance, Tony and Rudolph managed to overcome Rookery after an intense chase. Following the incident, Rudolph's family was extremely grateful to Tony and his family for their help. However, they were faced with a new problem as their home was destroyed by Rookery, leaving them nowhere to hide from the sun. With no other options available, Tony came up with an idea and took Rudolph and his family to the castle where they previously stayed. Upon arrival, he introduced Rudolph and his family to the castle's owner. The animation ends. The moral lesson of animation is that friendship can transcend differences and it takes courage to act to maintain it. In this film, a human boy named Tony befriends a young vampire named Rudolph. Although they are initially hesitant to become friends due to the difference in their species, they eventually bond with each other through their courage in the face of danger and their loyalty to one another.